how to monitor the PostgreSQL streaming replication on a setup which has one primary and one sleeve. So that's, that's one master and one sleeve. So I have already the setup done, which is there on uh, EC2 instance, uh, and it's PostgreSQL 13, which is running on the primary and the sleeve. So the, all the details are over here. So one of the thing is uh, whenever we have the PostgreSQL uh, replication and we are involved in the monitoring, there are few uh, commonly known issues which makes your streaming replication go out of sync. Everything is recorded there in the wall files. And if there is a problem in sending the wall files from your master to slave or from your primary to the replica, then there is a problem. And the problem exists in the form of a replica which is going out of sync. If there is a problem in accepting the uh, write ahead log files on the standby side or the replica side, it is it, it might go out of sync. If there is a high load on the primary, it may lead uh, uh, the replica to go out of sync. If there is a high load on the replica, it may also go it may also cause the replica to go out of sync. And one of the major issue contributing uh, issue for the replica to go out of sync is if the network outage is there between the primary and the replica, then it also results. Or there may be a scenario where in your replica has been down for several hours and the wall files which has been generated on the primary, they are not available. And there are some commonly known things about the replica which is going out of the sink is if my primary which is uh, accepting the transaction from the application, it is it is highly active. In that case also, uh, it may be possible that uh, those changes, they are not uh, replicated or propagated to the replica. It may also cause the standby to uh, or your replica to go out of sync. There may be a network outage between your primary and the replica. It also may cause the replica to go out of sync. Or there may be some unknown issues apart from these known issues, which may also cause the replica to go out of sync. So what are the different uh, important parameters which contributes to the uh, valid state of the replication? So you need to have a, a, um, a quick watch on those. One of the, the uh, parameter on the primary is your uh, wall keep segment. So this is the minimum number of uh, wall files that you keep on the primary. Uh, if it is a higher value than the uh, replica going out of sync is, is minimized. But if you keep the higher value, that means you have the, uh, the high requirement for the storage on the primary. The second parameter is max wall size. So this is the maximum size of all the log files which is available on your uh, disk. And then we use the term la uh, replication lag. So it is how, how do we find it? So let's say if I execute a query on the master and uh, and it returns 10 rows and if I um, execute the same query on my replica, which is in the uh, read mode. And if it if it doesn't uh, uh, replic uh, uh, produces the same result as it was on the primary, then there may be two things. One is replica is already in the recovery mode or it may be it is lacking so behind so much behind in terms of the the wall files that those changes are not replicated on the replica side. So we'll see what are the different uh, basic uh, uh, queries which can be used on the uh, the primary and the replica side. So I have a Postgres 13 streaming replication already set up. This is my primary. This is my replica. So I'll go to the primary and I'll just say PSQL. And if I say select star from PG underscore stat underscore replication. Okay, let me put it in the extended view. And if I say select star from PG underscore stat underscore replication, it will show the status of the replication. This is the PID and uh, this is the username. Then this is the IP address of the receiver where my, uh, my uh, streaming replication is happening. And this is the backend start time. The status is streaming. And uh, this is the sent 
uh, LSN, right LSN, and replay LSN. So you can see it is consistent. And if there is some lag on the standby, you will be able to see the status over here. Right lag, flush lag, and replay lag. Right lag, like uh, if the, what is the uh, delay in writing? What is the uh, uh, flushing of those files on the disk? And then applying those, those files on the standby environment. Sync status is in asynchronous and the, the uh, replay time is, is uh, the current time. As of now, my primary and the replica, they are connected. Uh, it is in uh, running mode. What I'm doing is I'm just going to stop my replica and we will see uh, what happens to this select star from pg underscore stat underscore replication. You will not see anything. So it's 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 like uh, the, the connection is not established because it is down. Uh, the standby is down or it might be a scenario your your network is not there so it's not able to communicate so it is not going to see so this is one of the basic thing which you can check from the primary side the other thing is if you have a streaming replication and if you have used uh, replication slot let me start the uh, the instance on the the replica side Okay, so let me simply say start. It has started. And the same command pg underscore stat underscore replication. You will be able to see now the connection is established. Right lag, there is a slight lag which is very, 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 very less. And uh, if you see it now, that right lag has gone away though there is no activity on the primary side and the second command which you can fire is select star from pg underscore replication underscore slots so it is like i have given some slot name the slot type is physical this is active active is true that means it is doing its work and it is transferring the uh, uh, the, uh, the connection is established and uh, the wall files are getting applied what i will do is again i'm going to switch off the uh, replica and then let's see this command you can see that active uh, active is uh, false that means the uh, uh, there is no uh, streaming replication happening at this point so you have to check this active it is it will remain in the false state unless or until you you establish the connection so to establish the connection this is a pseudo status which we have created i'll start it and then this should go and become uh, active again so this active is true so this is fine now and another thing which we can check on the primary side is we can check the uh, current wall uh, LSN status. I'll go to the primary and I'll fire this. Select PG underscore current underscore wall underscore LSN. So this is the uh, current wall log sequence number. And... Uh, then the final command which you can fire on the primary side so it depends upon your your scenario what what suits best for you but most of the information you will be able to see uh, using this command you will be able to see the application name as you would have seen in the first step then sending lag receiving lag, lag replaying lag and total lag so this information might help you when there is a large gap between your primary and the replica on the replica side you can check what is the current status of your replica uh, let's go to the command prompt and say select pg is in recovery so this will show you pg is in recovery it is it is in the true state so recovery is happening without any problem 
we can check the status of wall log files how the how it is receiving over getting received over here so i'll say select pg last wall receive and this is the last wall which is received then what is the last wall file which is getting replayed on the or it is getting reapplied on the replica so you can see it has given that information as well and i can check the replay timestamp as well on the replica side as well so uh, going back to the the last one in this this also shows some important information so so these most of these uh, values are valid for uh, postgre 10 and onwards if you have to check uh, the prior versions then there is a slight change probably I'll, I'll put that as well there is no replication log delay so everything is fine and the final thing if if there is an uh, out of sync replica and there is no way to correct it then you need to check the archive command on your primary the restore command on the standby and what you need to do is uh, on the replica side you need to export the data directory remove everything and then you uh, do a pg base backup on on replica to bring the uh, the data from the primary so you can use uh, the data directory location then you can use the hyphen r which is going to create your recovery file then you can use a hyphen access uh, file which is going to send all the log files which is written on the primary to the replica uh, you can use the hyphen v which is the verbose uh, it will show you the display on the screen and hyphen p that will uh, display the progress of the restore and then you have to check your log files if everything is fine or not and uh, then it should work properly so uh, it's always good to give uh, importance of the uh, how how can we monitor a different thing so everything is is available over here so i hope uh, this is going to help and thank you